Now, one reason might be because you yourself are a smelly person. Too far? Okay. My apologies. What's happening, guys? Coach Bernard. This time I have a review? No. Tip? Advice? However you take it. Um, in this video, I will be talking about the main reason why I find a lot of boxers, boxing gloves, do smell. And different ways you can prevent that. Now, I did add a bunch of affiliate links on the bottom uh, for the different products I might mention in this video. In case you are interested in picking them up yourself. But let's get into this. Now, there are a lot of different reasons why your gloves may smell. Like other factors include like where you store it and how you store it. Some people like, like to keep it in their gym bag and store it in like, a place where you can't really air it out. And also when it's in your gym bag, they still have a... <clears throat> now, if some people will keep it in their gym bag and they don't open this up, it does help if it's... That's loud. It does help if it's open up and let it air out a bit. Um, but you already know that. Or you should know that. If you don't, you're welcome. But I do find the main contributing factor to why a lot of fighters boxing gloves smell is mainly because they only have one pair of wraps or they reuse wraps without washing them. I would always ask my fighters, why do your gloves stink? In a nice way, I'll, I'll be nice. And I would ask them, how many hand wraps do you have? And they'll just tell me one or two. And I would ask them, how often do you wash them? And they go, oh, barely. Yeah, that's why. For myself, what I usually do, I usually have a whole bunch of hand wraps. I have uh, probably like five different pairs of hand wraps. I'd wear them throughout the week, and at the end of the week, I'll just, I'll just wash them all. Now, you have to think about it. When you have your hand wraps in your boxing gloves, they're like socks, right? You won't take off your sock and then let it air out and save it for the next day. Now, if you do, uh, you got problems, and I can't help you there. You need to think about that. Um, you wouldn't put on a dirty pair of socks that have been worn previously and put in your shoes over and over again until you feel like washing it. So it is good to have multiple pairs of wraps. I always have three in my gym bag and I keep two at home. Actually, I have more than that. I have like a whole bag, a whole bag full of wraps here. And there's other stuff in here too. Like I keep like little like reflex balls and what is this? Oh yeah. I made myself a little knuckle pad with uh, athletic tape and gauze. Anyways, I digress. And it would be a real shame if you have really expensive gloves. A lot of gloves are really expensive nowadays. And if you have really nice gloves and then you get them to smell too early, then it'll be a real shame and then you'll be to blame. So the main takeaway here is get multiple wraps. Now, if your gloves do already smell and like it's already past the point where you can't really change that, do wear multiple hand wraps and start wearing fresh hand wraps each time you go to the gym. What we can also do is pick up different things like uh, cedar bags. Like I have, I have this little cedar bag that I bought from Amazon. I'll link it below as well. The cedar bag is taking the moisture inside the gloves. So it helps dries it up, prevents bacteria from like spreading out and uh, developing into the glove. Everlast, they make these things here where you can like put it in. I do like these, but it, I don't think it's super effective. It only really gets... We'll get mostly the, the wrist and the, the hand compartment, but when we really get down here, sometimes the sweat gets really de deep in there and your fingers like stink and stuff. Um, what I usually do if I do use these uh, these cedar bags from Everlast, I would pair them up with one of these ones and stuff these ones into the fingers and I have this there. There you go. So it's kind of good to double up on the cedar bags. Um, they're not too expensive. I think I got three pairs for like under $10. I forget how much it was. Now one thing that's really great about cedar bags if they do start to lose the, the smell, the cedar smell, what you can also do to bring back the freshness is leave it out in the sun. These are good because they're all black, so it really brings the heat into the, the wood chips. So put it in the sun, leave it there for like an hour or so, and it smells almost new. But one thing I've been using a lot nowadays is a deodorizer spray. Now, a lot of people use Lysol and stuff, and I used to use Febreze. Febreze is also really good. But now I've been using this one here, it's called Game Over. Game Over, man. On the Rival website, they do sell the exact same thing, but with the Rival logo on it. Do any problem with that one? They do overprice it. For this one, on Amazon, it goes for $14.99, but so does the one in Rival. But this comes with two. On Rival, you just get one for 14 bucks. Now, when using the spray, what you can do is spray right into here. That will take care of the wrist and hand compartment, but to get into the finger compartment, you gotta go right, right here and the spray away. Make sure you go up and down. That way you can cover all surfaces. And it works great for clothes as well. Now an alternative to cedar bags, what you can also use are dryer sheets. 
I used to use those all the time, but I find that it doesn't really dry up the moisture inside as well as cedar bags. But they're pretty good for new gloves and they help freshen the smell a little bit. That's also something you can use. But that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, just to reiterate, multiple hand wraps, cedar bags, spray, and dryer sheets, I guess. And always let your gloves air out because some people don't. But that's my video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, click like. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next time.